Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Sanjoku. Raiders signed two new running backs today in response to Theo Riddick and Jalen Richard being placed on the COVID list. Then today, Kenyon Drake was placed on the non-act or non-injury football list. It was said that he was out on the field still working with the trainers, but we had to get some more running backs in here because we have to keep moving on with camp. The two guys that we brought on are not very exciting. They're pretty much the definition of camp bodies. As long as everybody pans out and gets, gets healthy and gets back on the field, I don't see either one of these dudes honestly having a shot to make this team. But I wanted to just talk about it for a minute. We brought on Darius Jackson, who's just kind of a journeyman running back. He's been in the league for four years now, but he's bounced around. He's played for about five or six different teams at this point. And then B.J. Emmons, who, I mean, he's a rookie. He's out of a smaller college. He really didn't have, like, crazy college numbers. He scored a few touchdowns. And I don't know, man. Both these guys need to get out there. They need to put in the work, train for it. Maybe one of them has a shot at making the practice squad. I don't know if that will end up happening, but I do think they have an outside shot, possibly, depending on the injuries. So keep an eye on them. They're part of the Raiders, so I welcome them in. Hoping for the best for both of them. We'll just have to see how it ends up playing out. And then the offense that I have drawn up for you guys tonight, this is just like the John Gruden special. This is like our go-to offense. Just your basic Gruden grinder offense. You got Ingold opening up holes for Jacobs. You got Waller blocking or running routes. You got Ruggs on one side. You got Edwards on the other. You will see this offense probably more than any other offense that I have ever drawn up. This is like Gruden's go-to right here. I really think it looks really good. I think the offensive line, as long as it holds up, we should be able to actually run pretty damn well out of this formation. I'm really expecting Ingold to step up. I've mentioned it before and have a way bigger role in this offense. I'm hoping we get to see that. Waller just needs to continue to be Waller, and then our outside wide receivers have to prove that they can be a legit number one and a legit number two. Right now, neither one of those guys are that thing. I mean, it sucks to say, but if you look at their numbers from last season, granted, you can put everything you want onto it, neither one of them will classify as a number one or a number two wide receiver. I both know they have the potential to do it. I'm really pulling for them to do it, and we definitely need them to freaking do it. So let me know your guys' thoughts on it, man. I really appreciate you guys checking out another one. If you could click that like and that sub button, it really does help me out and keep me growing. But we will catch you guys on the next one.